The Law of Affirmation and Denial from the book From Existence to Life, The Science of Self-Consciousness by Dr. James Porter Mills. Now there is a law by which we can progress if we use it intelligently, the law of affirmation and denial. What is to be denied? Jesus said, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Let him deny himself. What shall he deny himself? Some pleasure? This is how we have understood it. There are those who think that they are denying themselves by refraining from special foods on one day in the week. There are others who think that they deny themselves by going to church. Perhaps they want to go to a tea party or be at a horse race. Nevertheless, they go to church looking the other way with tears in their eyes over it. They have done it so faithfully. But what Jesus said was, let a man deny himself. That which man has thought to be himself is not his true self. It is but his personality, the sum of his experiences. This is the self that has to be denied. We have to get control of ourselves. How are we to do it? The answer is that we are to deny ourselves. We are to deny that which we have heretofore considered to be ourselves. That is, we are to deny that our personality, the sum of our experiences, constitutes the self. We are also to deny belief in all sorts of outside influences having power over us, that objects, circumstances and people can make us either happy or miserable. Here, for instance, is someone whom we like and we are happy. Here is one whom we do not like and we are miserable. It is a sea soaring all the time. We have to deny that all this has any power over us. All our experiences in the world on that basis have been false, built up from the premise that our origin was Adam and that from him we inherited original sin. Now we must turn around and act from the other standpoint. Why not say that we have inherited original holiness and thus deny the influence that before led us astray? All this fabric of consciousness that has been built up by the race and by ourselves and is recorded in the soul has to be denied, together with all temptation to live the old life as we have lived it hitherto. Let the mind affirm and hold fast to an idea which it perceives to be right. Right, not as between man and man, but as to principle, with every intention of enlisting the feeling on the side of that idea. And let it declare to the feeling nature, you have no power over me to allure me into these thoughts which are pressing on me. I am spirit and not matter, good and not evil, for God made me, and what God made is good, even though the race has been allured by you. Or I have been allured by you in the past. I will not bow down to you nor serve you, thoughts of my heart. I will have no more to do with you. Such a denial tends to destroy the power that the mind has heretofore looked upon as inherent in the habits of the past.